Adobe Creative Cloud offers one of the most powerful photo editing programs with their flagship program, Photoshop. But did you know that Adobe offers Lightroom? It's a photo management and organization software that can help you get your pictures in order. Millions of photographers use Lightroom, but is it right for organizing family photos? Let's learn a little bit more in this review. Hi, I'm Molly Bartolt, a photo estate planner with Pixology. We are your go-to experts for education and motivation in using photo saving app software tools and resources. Definitely see the description below because I've got links, resources, and other information that can help you on the journey of saving your family photos. Since 1982, Adobe has been building a suite of software that can help people in many parts of their creative life. They now offer the Creative Cloud where you can access programs to help with your photo editing, video editing, document creation, and so many other things. These programs are accessed online through a Creative Cloud subscription package. Now Lightroom was first developed back in 2006 and eventually became a part of Adobe's suite of services. Around five years ago, I did try using Adobe Lightroom and I found it too cumbersome and complicated to use and I just put it aside. However, in 2017, Adobe updated its Lightroom program and made it a part of its Creative Cloud suite of services. Now, if you want, you can still use Lightroom, classic it's called, but I would recommend going with the Lightroom CC that's available through Creative Cloud. It's simpler and I actually enjoyed testing it out for this review. Before going into an overview of Lightroom, I wanted to remind you of two very important things. Number one, you need to choose one digital home for your photo collection. It's just easier to manage and back up your pictures when you have one digital home. Now, Lightroom is one option and there's many others out there. If you want to see a list of what else you could choose from, click the link above and you'll be taken to my video on 20 different photo management programs for your digital pictures. The second reminder is use it routinely, like monthly if not weekly. When you use your digital management program routinely, you'll remember where you left off, you'll keep up with the new pictures you're adding to your collection, and you'll remember the tips and tricks that make it easy to use it. Let's talk about Lightroom and we're gonna look at its interface. Here we are looking at Lightroom, which I've downloaded from Adobe Creative Cloud's website and installed on my computer. We have this Typical navigation pane on the left hand side. You can simply add photos, that's pretty straightforward. And then you can view your photos by date, by people. And what's nice is this by date and by people is automatically done by Lightroom for you. So let's close that up and we'll look at all of our photos. I have imported 142 pictures for this demonstration. Then below those options, you can see albums. And here you can actually create folders or albums and organize your pictures that way. Along the bottom, I like this, you have choices on how to view your pictures. Right now it's kind of in the mosaic view where the pictures glide together. You can click this view to see your pictures in square boxes, or you can click here where it's like a slideshow and you're looking at one photo at a time. Let's go back to this view. Then these three lines allow you to sort your pictures by capture date, the date taken. Um, you can reverse the order, the modify date, file name, and star rating. Usually you're looking at the capture date. Then when you have a photo selected, you can give it a star rating, one, two, three, four, or five, and there's different flag options. Then along the right side, you have the ability to make your pictures bigger or smaller with the slider there. 
Along the right hand side, you'll find the editing options. And then down at the bottom, there's a tag there where you can add keywords. This is another way to say the word tags. And then the I is the info on the picture. So here, when I select the I, you can see the date of the picture. When you select these areas here, your navigation pane disappears and you can get it back by just selecting this icon at the top left. On the top right, there's just a, a share button, the help button, and then the cloud icon, which shows that your pictures are being synced and backed up. Adobe Lightroom automatically uploads your pictures to the Adobe Creative Cloud and stores them there for you. That is a quick overview of the interface of Adobe Lightroom. Let's talk about the essential features I think a program needs to have in order for me to recommend it to my clients. The first essential feature is the program must be able to organize pictures in folders or albums. We've already seen that Adobe does offer this option. So in order to create a folder, you just click the plus button and then I'll create an album and I'm gonna put in 2018 photos and we're gonna create. So now this album is empty. We need to add some pictures. I'm gonna to go to the by date area and click on 2018 and I'm gonna select all of these 2018 photos and move the pictures into the 2018 album. All right, they've been added. Now 2018 falls in the 2010s, so I can click this album and drag it into the 2010s family photos folder and you know it's a folder because it does not have an icon all right so very easy to make albums and folders that's great the second feature that I think is essential is the ability to edit metadata. Metadata is that information about your picture like the date it was taken, if there's a description, a title, um, sometimes it even includes what camera took that picture. We're going to go to one photo here in my collection and we're going to look at its metadata. So all photos and I'm going to scroll down. I have this very old picture. I'm going to click that I button and for some reason it's dated January 1st, 1818. I'm going to edit this because I actually believe it was more like the 1890s and I'm going to change it. So now you can see the date captured is January 1st, 1890. Then I'm going to change the caption here and put harms family ancestors and i'm going to put a tag oh there's a tag on there already mom's history so that's good now i'm going to export it from this program to make sure that the metadata sticks so i'm going to export the picture by going to the file tab on the top click export i can see metadata is checked and I'm going to export the one photo. When we open it in a different program, I can see the metadata stayed. This is perfect, exactly what you want. The third essential feature that I think a program needs to have is automatic backup. Lightroom automatically uploads pictures to the Adobe Creative Cloud when you import it into the program. We teach that you do need to have a backup of your pictures in your home and outside of your home. So. Creative Cloud is your outside of the home backup. You're in the home backup. It needs to be your Adobe Lightroom library. So we have to change a setting to save your pictures on your computer. We go to Adobe Lightroom tab at the top and we click preferences. And one of your options is local storage. And we're gonna click store a copy of all originals at the specified location and it's defaulted set to the Adobe Lightroom library, which can be found in your pictures folder. You wanna make sure that's checked. So you have your library as your original, 
collection of photos. You have the copy in the cloud and hopefully a copy on your external hard drive. Adobe Lightroom meets this requirement of having an automatic backup if you select that option in the preferences. The fourth essential feature I think a program needs to have is you have to like using the program a lot. That's because I want you to use it routinely, so you gotta enjoy it. When I look at the interface here, I do like it. I think it's simple compared to some other things, but I am troubled by the fact that I can't look at my albums in the main view in the center here. Normally you can look at your albums and all I can see is my pictures as they are um, displayed. So uh, I can go to the 2016 family photos and I love looking at the pictures, but I'd like to see my albums larger and, and I would enjoy using it more. So I'm gonna say it doesn't meet my requirement of enjoying using it, but you might like using it and, and that's what's important. So those are the four essential features. I think Adobe Lightroom meets three of them for my purposes. Now. I do like to point out there are other features that you want your photo management program to have. The first of them being the ability to edit. And Lightroom does do this nicely. Let's just click on a picture. And you can see I have all these options on the side to crop, edit, do other types of work, and some of it I would never even bother using, but Adobe Lightroom has these right in the program. Another thing that is really helpful in a photo management program is when the program can recognize faces. And when we go back to the people area here, you can see these are my family members. I didn't tell Lightroom who they, they were. They automatically appeared. So Adobe Lightroom has facial recognition. And I'll just label that my husband is in all of those pictures. Another feature you want your digital photo management program to be able to do is to share photos. So when you want to share a photo or an album, you're going to select the pictures that you want to share and click that share icon. With Lightroom, when you click the share icon, you do get export options. And then under those is where you can share by getting a link to email people. You can invite people to your album as well and that will work through the Creative Cloud system. The last feature that is helpful with the photo management program is its ability to recognize duplicates. Adobe Lightroom does recognize duplicates even if the name is changed, so that's helpful as well. So overall, I was pretty impressed with Lightroom. I think it's easy to use, and while I don't like the interface personally, I can see how other people would enjoy using it. One downside to Adobe Lightroom is the cost of it. Adobe offers three photography plans, and the simplest one that I think might work is Lightroom one terabyte. That's a lot of space, and it's only $10 a month. If you want Photoshop also, then you would go with the photography plan one terabyte, which is $20 a month, and it includes Lightroom and Photoshop. And you might wonder, do I need Photoshop? If you have to ask the question, then you don't need it, okay? Lightroom has plenty of features for you to edit your pictures. So between $10 and $20 a month, you'll have to decide if the value of what you get from Adobe is worth that investment. What do you think? Leave your comments below if you've used Lightroom or you're thinking about it or you're wondering about the cost. And if you've used it already, leave a comment because your experience might help someone else make a decision on what they wanna to use to manage their family photo collection. That's it. I think Adobe Lightroom has come a long way since I used it five years ago. And I hope this review was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up and that's it for now. We'll see you the next time.